Today's video is made possible by Hulu Plus. For a free extended two week trial period, head over to huluplus.com forward slash TOT. Gamers, and for those motherfuckers out there who spend almost all day long playing games, and for those who are AMD fans, well, you can say that the shiznick has literally hit the fan because Mantle, it hath arrived. And this video is all about Mantle, what it tastes like, what it smells like. Is it yummy? Mm, is it a tasty Mantle sandwich? Now, in case you guys don't know, the 14.1 beta drivers, the Catalyst ones came out from AMD. We also have those linked down below in the description in case for some reason you don't have them. Currently, right now, Star Swarm and Battlefield 4 are the only games right now that can actually take advantage of this API. Now, the R7 and R9 cards that are out right now, those are all supported. You can also use the 7000 and 8000 series GPUs, as well as the A10 and A8 7000 series APUs. Now, for those out there who are completely clueless and are going, hey, what is Mantle? Well, Mantle is a new type of API like OpenGL or DirectX, only this one comes directly from AMD and it's meant for game developers and gamers alike to be able to take more control over their gaming environment. Now, the initial perception is that Mantle allows a much higher amount of draw calls per frame, resulting in a significant boost in GPU performance across all AMD video cards. The reality is Mantle is geared to improve performance by reducing the workload on the CPU. What the actual results are, however, are this. Performance gains depend on how CPU heavy the game is and should offer bigger improvements to users with entry to mid-level processors. So essentially it's this, the people who are going to see the most significant boost are those people who have actually lower end CPUs. Why is this? Well, because if you're taking all that information off it, it's not going to matter if you have a super high end CPU or a low end CPU, which means you know you save money. So you've got an entry level CPU, high-end GPU. A lot of people always talk about this, especially in system builds. They're like, hey, put all of the money into the GPU and basically screw the CPU. Just put the money in the GPU. Well, now you will actually be able to take advantage of that and it will become a reality. When you'll be able to offload all of the stuff from the CPU onto the GPU, your CPU is not really going to matter. And that's one point about Mantle that I'm really looking forward to seeing in the future. For you folks who follow the channel, you've probably seen our test bench. If not, I'll have a link back here behind where you guys can actually check out the video of our new test bench. It's actually really cool. We're using an i7-4770K. I know that this isn't probably the best platform for doing it, but we've done all of other testing on it, and we're using this lovely Gigabyte 290X card on it for our testing. And you'll check out our results, and um, we think they're pretty good for initial results from Mantle. We're looking forward to more in the future, but for now, initially, Let's just check that out. So the first game up is Battlefield 4 on its ultra settings. Now we had our monitor at 1440p. The first score is DirectX 3D where we saw 58.12 average frames per second. We switched over to Mantle, we see 61.87 average frames per second. So not really much there at all. All. Now in 1080p with DirectX 3D, we saw 86.76 average frames per second, while with Mantle, we saw 92.67 average frames per second. So not too much of a jump there at all in Battlefield 4 with our test setup. Now, one thing to take note of, folks, Mantle does not work with Fraps. So if you're out there trying to figure out, hey, how the hell do I calculate my frames per second? Check out in our link down in the description. We'll have that information for you folks as well. Now, the next gaming benchmark we used is called Star Swarm. This did not require Fraps whatsoever. And with that, using Mantle, we saw almost 20 frames per second of an increase. Now, that's pretty cool considering that we're using the i7-4770K. You can see 20 frames per second. Hey, that's nothing nothing to snuff at. Now, usually in the past, when I went out and I bought a bunch of video cards and tested them, you usually see about 10 frames per second per card upgrade, which means if you had a 280 and you went up to like a 280X, you'd see 10 frames per second. Well, with this, it would be like going up three cards because you're getting, you know, 20 frames per second. So instead of getting yourself, you know, uh, AMD 290X, it would be a 290X plus plus. So that's actually really cool. And I think for people out there who have AMD cards, you're going to be pretty damn stoked with this information and these scores. So it's a score up. And for Mantle, I think that's pretty damn significant for right out of the gate. So far, we've talked about 
about all of the good things about Mantle. But now let's talk about something that's a bit controversial and kind of on the negative side, but it's actually more the fault actually of DICE, they've admitted so, than actually AMD. And what's this? Well, what's happening in Battlefield 4, and we actually have the screenshots down below to show you guys, is that even though the frame rates might be increasing, the quality of the picture is decreasing. Now, this is kind of like, uh, not really a good thing. I'm sure DICE is going to pick up their game. You like that one? DICE is going to pick up their game and they're going to fix this. But right now, there's a little bit of controversy around that. I know many people play Battlefield 4. So if you folks out there, you've noticed this, hey, man, leave me a comment down below and let's see, you know, what your experience has been. But overall, from what I can see, Mantle out of the gate is a pretty good success. Now, before I bounce on out of here, I want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Hulu Plus for making this video possible and for supporting the channel. So I know many of you PC users out there know what Hulu is, but do you guys really know what Hulu Plus is? Because Hulu Plus is like a whole different level. Hulu Plus is like taking that standard video card, slapping a water cooler on it, and getting the absolute most bang for your buck. Just all kinds of content. Now, with the standard Hulu, you can only watch it on your PC, but with Hulu Plus, baby, you can take that on the go, on your tablet, on your phone. With Hulu Plus, you can catch up on current shows, binge on old favorites, or watch a great movie. Stream as many TV shows and movies as you want, anytime, anywhere. You can also check out exclusive content including Hulu originals like The Wrong Mans and Behind the Mask. Best of all, you can watch all of this content in HD. Now, I know a lot of people always ask, how can you guys support the site? Well, at this time, you can support the site and get your guys a free extended trial period just by going to huluplus.com forward slash T-O-T, where you can enjoy Hulu Plus for two weeks. So that's it, folks. That's what we have on Mantle coming out of the gate from AMD. I feel personally that it's more of a win than a loss in any way at all. And even though DICE may have, you know, crumbled on the game right there a little bit, I'm sure they'll pick things up and fix all of these problems. Now, for you folks out there, I know you guys have lots and lots of different systems out there. And we're gonna have an article on this over on our website, www.techoftomorrow.com, which will be down in the description as well. And we wanna hear from you folks. You know how we love to interact with you folks, give a big virtual hug to all you guys. Let me hear what your guys' system and what you guys have seen from Mantle thus far. We love to hear your opinions. We wanna know what you guys are seeing because there's a broader, much more of you people out there than it is us. We have our test system, we have what we do here, but there's a whole world and all of you people around the world who are AMD fans are out testing the crap out of this right now. So we love you. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you like what you see here, make a hit on that like button and also subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in your news box every day. See you.